Hello everyone, it's Group C's turn uh, this time around and I can also say tell you it's time for the biggest disappointment of this Asian Cup at least jersey wise for me personally. You watched my top 10 jerseys of 2018 you probably know what I'm talking about but let's go through the teams as they are seeded. The first team of course is South Korea which already for the World Cup I found a little bit of a disappointment. I'm fine with the plain red shirt, but there could be a little bit more. The crest, the navy, almost black with the tiger, I think it undersells the tiger. Uh, I don't mind in this case even the soccer ball down there, although I usually do, but it's kind of hidden away, so I'm fine with that. But this is not a, the Korea jersey that screams for me, I need to have this one. Put some tiger print on there, take a hint from India. Uh, you could have something or use anything else. This is probably one of the most nondescript South Korea shirts in a long time. 2014, they had a nice shirt that was also simple, but they had a little bit more color on there. And then this is worn uh, with navy or black pants. Just doesn't look good and it's in complete contradiction with the white taping on the back. Uh, and I'm not even mentioning the number worn on, on the side. So for what but that this is a custom made jersey for the world cup it's really disappointing could use a lot more work there could be something on there to make it a bit more special i find this rather boring and for that four stars much better though is the away jersey which also is very simple but it has a pattern on there which at first looks a little bit random but um squinting here helps and if you have the chance uh, to see this picture, kind of readjust the dimensions. I'm not sure if I can do this here, but this swirl here is nothing else but the yin yang that's on the Korean flag, and it's called differently, um, of course, um, in for the Korean flag, um, with the red and the blue kind of intersecting, and now it's elongated and made into an um, interesting pattern. Could it be a little bit more obvious? Yes. Um, the would I love if they would just make a flag kit? Oh yes. Uh, but this is a very interesting uh, application and I actually like it a lot. It gives this uh, a certain special something and for that reason I gave this back then 8 stars. I think I'm even gonna stick with this rating. I think it makes it sensible because it uses a cultural element and puts it on there. And yes, you still have a tiger on the shirt which is always a plus. Next up, China. And the China home shirt is basically what Frost does, but it uses uh, yellow as an accent color, which makes the sleeves look a little bit weird. Also, I'm not sure I like that the collar also has this pattern. Uh, I do like the new Chinese crest. I've been using it now for a couple of years or so. There is a dragon on there, which always good. It says uh, CFA. It says... Um, China in Chunghua, that was the name, I had some Chinese lessons, uh, below in Chinese uh, characters and of course there's the dragon on the inside of the collar which yeah could be shown somewhere as well. Uh, it is a template, I think it's a decent template but of course um, it's also nothing too exciting but you know it fits with the color color scheme. I actually wish that the sleeves there was a little bit more something more special on there. So yeah not a bad shirt but also I like the frost shirt better because there it's you know the color is popping a little bit more here it looks a little bit detached the whole thing. Um, so for that I'm only gonna give this um, yeah, well, I think uh, I really don't like it that, that much. Uh, I like the crests, like the numbers, I think, that are on there. They're, of course, custom made, remind me of Chinese characters. <sighs> now the shawls pulled me off. Honestly, the yellow puts me a little, a little bit off, even though it is uh, within the color color scheme. So I'm only going to give this six stars. And now comes the big disappointment. The China away jersey could have been this wonderful black uh, jersey with uh, the neon applications, slight neon applications, and the dragon pattern on front, which is the best shirt design I've seen. 
the last year. This is the best jersey. And for some reason they didn't, didn't improve it. And what do we get at the Asian Cup? You see it here in Korea, we get just a plain white jersey with red letters. At least the crest is full color to add a little bit. Um, I actually would like to see what the taping says on, on the back, whether there's a dragon or whether it's a Jungwa, something like that. Um, it is disappointing. It is disappointing. The jersey itself doesn't look that bad, although I really question the choice of putting a Chinese flag over the crest. Uh, but yeah, at least it pops here. <sighs> this is one of those where I have to just lift myself over the disappointment. But I think I only can give this six stars as well because it's really nothing special. But you know, there's the crest popping, it makes some sense. I just wish it was the black shirt. That would have been wonderful. Now, uh, the final donations, we don't have too many um, uh, pictures, but at least for um, uh, Kyrgyzstan, I can show you both shirts. The home shirt, by, both are made by Homa. And the home shirt is a very interesting one. It's plain red uh, with white applications. Uh, also the knife number is nice there. Uh, but it uses like kind of two shades of red with an interesting fade pattern in there. Now, um, I think this is more based on a template than anything else, but it may, gives the shirt a certain uh, interesting feel. The crest, yeah, is okayish. I, I, I would say I just would like to know what it represents. Um, I always find the flag of um, Kyrgyzstan a little bit, you know, it's the Xbox logo on there and it's kind of a little bit corporate design, not an old-fashioned uh, type of flag. Yes, they're a young country, so I do get it. This jersey, yeah, it's very simple. It's again uh, red, but I like the shade. I like the structure that this pattern gives you and that it actually the one side, the proper left is a little bit darker than the rest of the jersey, but with a fade in there. So uh, it's at least interesting to look at for that. I give it six stars. The away jersey, first of all, was a Homo logo in black. That I think is a big miss. And other than that, it's just white. I don't even see any, yeah, there's some horizontal uh, shadow striping. Really, really nothing special. Actually, this is just a standard Homo jersey with the crest on there for that. I'm sorry, I can only give this four stars. And then we get to one of the shirts that I really had a hard time finding. I only have actually match footage of this one. It's the Philippines home jersey and I only have the home and not the away jersey. Uh, the brand that they are using is LG Gamma or whatever. Never heard of that brand. So uh, if you have how it's called, if you have any idea, please let, let, let me know. The jersey in itself is actually quite interesting. It is white. It has like the 2016 Nike style, um, a little band going around the collar, which is a crew neck. And then it has a gray sublimated pattern in there. Uh, which makes for an interesting look. Um, I just seriously wonder about this pattern. Why is it only in gray? It's kind of, you know, a thin gray stripes. It's a little bit like the Adidas um, style of 2018, the way that it's applied. It is interesting to look at it. It gives it something, but um, I wonder why it's not in color. The Philippines have also three, at least three, if not four national, national colors, use those. I, you know, put some red, put some blue on there, make the shirt look a little bit nicer, grace a little bit of wasted opportunity. And since I'm now in the process of writing about Cyprus, the 2016 Cyprus potentially away shirt, although it is built as a home shirt, uh, also has a, some, some, something where it's white with a gray band. This reminds me of that one. It sounds a little bit uh, like missed opportunity to me. And for that, I only can give this, yeah, again, because it injured at six stars. I assume the away jersey is red or blue. I have no way to confirm this. So if you have the info, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon with the next part. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too.
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.